Hey Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got Joe on the line. Her name is Johanna, but she likes Joe, and then we'll work with that. Are you there, Joe? Hi there, Brad. How you doing? Hello. I detect an accent. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Where is it from? I'm originally from Essex in the UK. Okay. I now live just off the north coast of France. Okay. I'm from Minnesota, so I got sort of an accent, too. Yeah. <laughs> And a little bit of Norwegian, but I don't know if that even, you can even hear that. <laughs> so I don't do these too long because people have that commodity of time. They just want to get to know who you are and what you do. So here's the basic part. You, uh, I like to ask, are you married? You got kids? Or are you single, wild, and crazy? <laughs> I'm married, but still wild and crazy, some people would argue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no children. I'm not able to have any, uh, fortunately. I'm actually at home recovering from a hysterectomy. So, <laughs> uh, but I do have a four-legged son, if you like. It's my uh, black Labrador Nelson. <laughs> He's right okay. here, actually. A fur baby. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> fur baby. Okay. So, where about in France is that? Because, like. I've being from over in the states. Sometimes we don't know the exact geography and how that stuff all plays out. But where where are you located? I'm just off the north coast of France, so along the Brittany and Normandy coastline. Is a, a set of Channel Islands. Um, okay, Jersey, yeah, yeah. Jersey, Guernsey, Sark, and Herm. But I'm in Jersey, the big one. Okay, got it. How long have you lived there? Seventeen years. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm up for parole soon. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes people just bop from place to place. I've lived in Minneapolis here for all my life primarily. I spent 53 years in the same house and then got married and we moved over to Asheville, North Carolina, which is on the east coast of the United States for a couple of years and then came back here because we love home and here's where we are. Nice. <laughs> so what kind of work do you do? I believe that you're an author. Am I correct? Uh, yes. I'm Yay. now an author. Um, I'm actually a full-time scientist at the local hospital uh, oh. in the emergency departments. Um, but the, my passion is really writing. So, yeah, I've just recently published a book now. After a long wait, many years of polishing my craft, as it were. <laughs> so did you, sp did you spend a lot of time writing and writing and writing, and then finally you said, i got to turn this into a book? Pretty much, yeah. I started out writing... Um, well, start from the beginning. I loved writing magical tales as a child, but it wasn't until I moved over here and I started watching Supernatural, the mm -hmm. CW series, and I got hooked on that. And I started writing fan fiction for it. And my husband, after many years of suffering this, said to me, it's about time you had something published. So I started working on my own stuff. So, okay. <laughs> so being <laughs> a magician... <laughs> Being a magician myself, that's where the magic Brad thing comes from, because I started doing magic as a kid. What does magic mean to you? Like, you're doing this magical stories. What does magic really mean to you? Oh, crikey. Um, I suppose it's best described in my, at the beginning of my book, actually. Where the, um, the witch in the story gives her own little sort of prologue about magic. And it can be, for me, it's anything from watching the sunrise in the morning to the moon coming up at night or just planting a seed in the ground and watching it grow day by day. Why can't that be magic? I mean, that's right. beautiful. I yes. mean, we don't really know why we're here or how we came about, but, but do I believe, do I think of magic and magicians? Yeah, I love magic shows. So it's I, a, I never tire of them. It's the suspending of your, your current belief or your own reality and looking at something different like just looking at how a seed grows that is miraculous you've got this teeny tiny little seed that's like a carrot seed and it grows up into this big giant carrot or an apple the seed of an I mean, apple i mean i know the science behind it i mean i spent many 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 years you know training and studying um but to me it still seems magical i have not lost that that love of magic well, in that respect. Totally. Like you said, the sun rising or the moon, it's amazing that those things just yeah. stay all in harmony with all the different stars and planets, and it's that's miraculous and magical yeah. in itself. It's about how it makes you feel, and I get that tingle down my spine when I'm sitting out in my garden at night and I see the moon and the stars, and 
and that feels magical to me. And it's it, magic. Sometimes it's just a perception of stuff because when you just see the moon sitting there, it's like, oh, that's beautiful. But then when you really look at it, it's like there's this big ball and it's hanging in the sky somehow. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> yeah, and, and the the effect that it has on our planet is amazing as well. How it affects the tides yeah. and yeah, and the, the, comes and the seasons in, as well. Goes out, comes in, goes out. <laughs> <laughs> So, exactly. When I used to do on call at the, at the uh, hospital years ago, we always noticed the busiest night in the emergency department was on the full moon. Right. <laughs> so something goes, the water in our brain that does stuff to people. Uh, yeah, everyone turns into a <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> so tell us a little about your book. What's the, what's the title of your book, first off? It's called Tales from the Forest, and it's a series of short stories, uh, main for, mainly for children, but I like to think adults would like to read it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's in this forest that um, I call my safe place. Uh, when I was a child, I used to love um, running around and playing in the woods and the forests of where I grew up. And uh, so over the years, I sort of retreated there whenever life got a bit overwhelming. Um, so... I, that's what I started writing about, really, at the end of the day. Uh, I suffered a lot from depression and anxiety over the years, and uh, a friend of mine who was going through the same thing, she's been there for me during some very dark times. So when it was her turn to go through it, I, I decided to start writing these little short stories to try and help her. And she said to me, well, you should actually put these into a book. I think people would like to read these. So I did. <laughs> Well, they're just very simple stories. Sure. But uh, all with a happy ending. <laughs> but it's that kind of thing that you, I mean, especially these days, I think short stories are great because t technology has made everything move so fast. We don't have any time to do anything. So just grab a quick short story and kind of escape to the woods for a little while, right? Exactly. Yes. And you, you can speak to all the animals there. Everybody understands each other. Uh, and it's just nice. Sometimes in my, when I'm in my head, I'm not having a bad day, I'll just escape there. <laughs> Close my eyes, lie back in the hammock and pretend I'm there. <laughs> yeah, we live next to a marshy area and that's where I take the dog out for a walk and go out and walk through the woods and it's nice because it's less sound, you know, the sound from the highway, you really can't hear it there and it's just, you hear the birds chirping and it gets you into that neutral space and I think that's the place when a person can get creative because they're not thinking about the past and they're not thinking about the future, they're just in that present moment, I think that's when the magic can happen, when that, that third entity comes in and says, and it gives you different information that's not based on your knowledge from the past or your, your want from the future. Exactly. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I was in it, just a simple bird song can, can set the juices flowing, the so juices is, flowing. So. You said this is a series. Is there like an X amount of, is there going to be seven of them? Is there going to be a hundred of them? Or do, do you don't no, know? I, <laughs> I'm only working. I'm still. I'm working on the second one now. I'm working towards it, gathering ideas, and and I tend to have characters which are named after people I know and love, and who are friends of mine. So a lot of the characters in the book you will, are related to either directly the people that I know and love, or are indirectly related to them. Did you have um, to one get one of the characters? Is exactly, my dog. <laughs> I was going to say, did you have to get permission before you put that in the book? I always make sure that I they. Uh, that They've given me permission. Good idea. They are always acknowledgments to say thank you as well. Because yeah, you never know <laughs> what they mean. You put me in a book about. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, Smart. I cast any of them as villains, so I'm, hopefully I don't think I've given them a reason to sue me, but you just never know. <laughs> This day and age. <laughs> so, well, before I ask my favorite question, and that's my final question. Um, I'd like to find out how do we learn more about this? Do you have a easy to remember domain name or just Google something on Amazon or how do we find? Absolutely, yeah. Um, Amazon, you can just put Tales of the Forest by Johanna Aldridge. Um, or my website is johannaaldridge.com. Easy enough. Johannaaldridge.com. We <laughs> yeah. can do that. <laughs> okay, here's my favorite question and then I, I kind of think I might know the answer, but I will ask you. And I kind of get the same answer from a lot of other people, but it's the big W, the big why question. Why are you doing this? Why is this your passion instead of like skiing or deep sea fishing or, or paratrooping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, I didn't say I wouldn't want to do any of those things. But, <laughs> um, I, I grew up in a, I wouldn't say I was an impoverished household. We weren't particularly well off. Uh, we were farm workers. And so a lot of the time we relied on our imagination. And I just grew to love using my imagination. I don't think there's anything that life can show me that is bigger or better than what's in my own head. Okay. But, but another reason I'm doing it is because I'm hoping to raise enough money from the book sales to uh, set up a dog sanctuary, Forever Home Sanctuary for stray elderly and abandoned dogs. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I got a friend that lives over in Thailand, and she lives on a very small island, and she's like the, the island veterinarian. She helps all the dogs, and <laughs> that's her oh, thing. That's <laughs> she's been there for years, I think like it's going to be 15, 20 years, and that's all she does is just she's the, takes care of all the stray dogs on the island. <laughs> I might have seen her on Facebook. Maybe your name is Lisa McCallany, and it's uh, the island is Kochang, K-O-C-H-A-N-G. And it's not a big island, and she's the only veterinarian on the island. But when everybody's got issues, they, Lisa, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, you help, you help. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, though. <laughs> well, Joe, I'm going to sign this off and then beam it up to the universe. And if you see it online, if you could share it also, that's what... Uh, Raises the ranking in the in the internet and all that stuff. That'll be on YouTube, yeah. But I, what's that? And it'll be on YouTube, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely YouTube, and then I put it on some blogs, and then I propagate it out to like Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and LinkedIn and Google Plus and any oh, other okay. place I could yeah, put I it. Yeah, I should do the same. <laughs> it's a matter of getting it all over out there, and then they all connect and stuff gets seen. That's the way it works. <laughs> Yeah, full coverage is better. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate I appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe, Joe. So uh, thanks again. Enjoy your day. You. Peace. Yeah, I'll shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I need to say, see you again. Take care now. Bye. <laughs>